these kids are getting picked on by um, by these bullies, and uh, they need me to protect them. And I'm not really that interested in protecting them, but I am interested in getting some money because I'm, uh, I've kind of fallen on some hard times. My character, Drillbit Taylor, is uh, homeless, or home free, as he likes to say. It's kind of their first um, day at high school, they're really excited, new beginning, and uh, they immediately get kind of targeted and singled out by this kind of nightmare of a bully that makes, that makes Matt Dillon and my bodyguard look like a nice guy. And so uh, they take out an ad in Soldier of Fortune, and I respond to it and go to the interview, and somehow uh, they end up hiring me. I think maybe because I'm the cheapest. I was friends with Steve Brill just from, um, actually Luke and Steve, uh, my younger brother, um, were, were friends, that's how I met. I think they used to play golf with each other. And um, then uh, Steve and I just became friends and Judd had worked with Brill and um, I just always kind of, you know, thought Steve's funny and enjoyed being around him and um, so when he said that he was going to direct it, I was excited. There was a kid in the neighborhood that kind of we were all terrified of that used to pick on us. And, uh, and then there was actually even like more embarrassing, there was a girl who kind of used to pick on us that we were scared of. Because when you're a little kid, when you're only like nine or ten, you're little, and you don't have much strength. And there was this girl who was like huge, and, uh, and we were scared of her and she'd like to fight and uh yeah and she'd like uh yeah so that was scary too you know, leslie plays the teacher who kind of uh inexplicably kind of falls for drill bit and uh you know, these kind of passionate embraces and kisses and um judd um you know is always on set uh, when Leslie and I have one of these scenes and I, you know, I just kind of shrug like, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's just a movie, Judd. <laughs> I think with Judd, I think that, um, you know, like I said, when I first met him, he was kind of working with Gary Shanling. He was part of that great show, The Larry Sanders Show, and he's worked with Jim Carrey on a lot of projects. and. He was, um, you know, a writer or producer on the Ben Stiller show. So he's kind of worked with all these, um, you know, great people and Will Ferrell. And I think he's just always been good at kind of, uh, you know, w what he finds funny in a person. It, it seems like a lot of the country seems to find funny also. I remember, like as a kid, if you saw a teacher outside of school, it's kind of like seeing like like a rock star, like, you'll never believe it, I saw uh, Mr. C was eating Mexican food up at the <laughs> restaurant. And, uh, and so it's, and then I, and it kind of blows me away how scared I was of some teachers, because you realize there's not much they can really do, but you feel like they just have this power over you. And so I think my character enjoys kind of, you know, masquerading as a teacher and thinking that he's almost like James Bond with this license to kill. I guess for me it was the real surprise was um, just seeing how good uh, the kids were and kind of how natural they were. And uh, I think Troy and Nate are kind of the two main kids and then David Dorfman plays Emmett. And um, I think I've, I've had fun kind of doing my scenes with them, but then it's also been you know, working with Danny McBride. Where, you know, it's fun to kind of go from the kids to working with an adult. And um, yeah, so that's been good. I don't know if this movie has like a heavy message to it, but I think that the idea of friendship and kind of being loyal and you know sticking up for kids is kind of a um, you know a valuable thing to learn.